Hi everyone, here is Danny from SigBiker Studio. Today we start talking about disc brake pads. I'm going to show you five different types uh, of, uh, of the compounds that we can get on the market. Uh, we're gonna just get some knowledge about the theory behind it, but also on the first part I'd like to get some feedback, some input from you. First off, let us know please what types of uh, disc brake pads you prefer for your brakes, for your riding style and conditions you are riding in, but also let me know what do you want me to do with these um, <laughs> brake pads because I got tons of these. So guys from discobrakes.com, thanks so much for being so generous. I thought you would send me just, you know, five types and that's it. Uh, I got four pairs of each type, both for Magura on my Canada FSI and uh, on, for Shimano on my um, e-bike which is pretty powerful so every weekend I'm gonna be racing on my FSI on different um, brake pads in different um, conditions and also on the powerful e-bike I have I can just go for 20 kilometers braking constantly and letting you know what's the heat dissip dissipation and the wear so that's that is going to be interesting I'm gonna read each and every comment at least within three days uh, after publishing this video so please let me know what would you like uh, to me to do with these. These five types are ceramic, copper-free, uh, sintered, semi-metallic and Kevlar. So pretty, pretty large range of different uh, compounds. And the guys from Disco Breaks, um, they've made pretty good job in just informing us about these compounds uh, and what would be the difference uh, in terms of the right feel and uh, and the power and so on. So let's just see. Uh, we've got this semi-metallic sintered Kevlar ceramic pro. We don't have the hardened ceramic uh, and we have copper free. So all of these except for the hardened ceramic we have for the testing. Now uh, what's the difference between the compounds? Semi-metallic, uh, we have some info about power, quietness, life expectancy and heat dissipation. So semi-metallic in terms of the power, if you think about how powerful your brakes will be, are so-so. Then in terms of the power, sintered should be more powerful and then Kevlar, Ceramic Pro and Copper Free have like 100% of the power here, so the most powerful. I don't think there, there, there will not be any difference between these three, uh, these three so I'm gonna just uh, check it out. Now if you think about life expectancy, once more, semi-metallic, so-so, sintered, very very good, then Kevlar a bit better than the semi-metallic, like between sintered and semi-metallic, then Ceramic Pro short life and copper free pretty good then there are also some info about uh, quietness and uh, heat dissipation so there are some differences uh, between these um, different compounds how this will work out for me on my mtb marathons and cross-country races it's going to be interesting uh, so definitely let me know what exactly would you like me to show you and to test so this is just the starting of this test. Um, I'm gonna maybe start with the Kevlar ones. I have never tried Kevlar and I have never tried, I think, Copper Free. So we'll see uh, how this will work out. Once more, Copper Free, Sintered. These are what? Semi-metallic and then Ceramic and uh, finally, Kevlar once. Let's start the test. I'm waiting for you in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And now if you watch this video on Saturday, I'm racing on the road 283 kilometers. I will let you know uh, how, this, uh, <laughs> how this was just on Monday or Tuesday. So see you soon. Bye bye.